good news for Indians traveling for business to the UAE as they will now enjoy a more liberalized visa regime under the CEPA signed between the two countries. Indians traveling to the UAE for business will now find it easy to get visas as business travel between India and the United Arab Emirates is set to change after the two countries agreed to a liberalized visa regime as part of the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement signed 18th February 2022. The liberalized visa regime includes a three-year visa provision for intra-corporate transfer, a 90-day visa for business visitors and a 90-day plus extendable visa for contractual service suppliers. CEPA will reduce import duties on the majority of Indian exports to the UAE. It also cut import duties on a wide range of products. The government also expects it to boost the export of gems and jewellery and apparel to the UAE and raise trade up to $100 billion in the next five years. The UAE is India's third largest trade partner globally after the US and China. Bilateral trade between the two nations stood at $43.3 billion as of 2020-21 and is spread across thousands of traded items. In 2019-20, the pre-pandemic year, trade between the two countries was estimated at $59 billion. The UAE is also home to 350,000 Indian origin persons. The CEPA is expected to come into effect by the first week of May since the process will take about 60 days. During that time, a series of business interactions will be held across India between businesses from both sides. For India, the deal will benefit exports of gems and jewellery, textiles, leather, footwear, sports goods, plastics, furniture, agri-goods, pharma, medical devices, automobiles, engineering goods. Indian Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal said that most of these export sectors are labour-oriented and will grow bilateral trade to $100 billion and open up at least 1 million jobs for youth. India has given tariff concessions on gold exports to the UAE while they have eliminated tariffs on jewellery exports from India.